What is the best way to handle reformed criminals, including registered sex offenders, who are attending the church? If they are on parole but want to attend the church, how should the church respond that is both prudent and charitable? Should all the parents of the congregation be alerted that so-and-so is a sex offender but is repentant and is now attending? Just FYI, I ask the above because our church uses a Celebrate Recovery program that is open to the public but has recently led to safety issues for the Sunday School. Would really love any recommendations you have. Yeah, this, this is a question that shows up in various forms. Uh, sometimes with uh, Christian schools, when parents want to enroll their child in you're our last chance Christian school, <laughs> you know, um, when you have that sort of situation or situations at church where um, you have sex offenders or people who've got a criminal past. And the rule of thumb that I've, I've developed over the years is that you, uh, that we must give, we must demonstrate, show, and manifest the grace of God to everyone. We, we, uh, the church is not a place where uh, we have the authority or the right to turn a repentant sinner away. Um, so if someone has repented of their sin and they are coming to Christ, then church is where they belong. That, that's a sort of a, a, a given. But when, you are, when you're doing this, you have to make sure that you're giving the grace of God and not giving something else that's not yours to give. So um, when uh, a sex offender, say, is coming to church, and this is not hypothetical for, for us either, we've had to deal with this in practical ways, if I'm proclaiming the word, that's, I can give him that. I, I can welcome him to the Lord's table. I, I'm authorized to give him that. I'm not authorized to offer the safety of the little kids in the church to someone who is not uh, being supervised carefully enough. Now, sex offenders, oftentimes the, the legal, their legal situation requires that you know, the, the, the parents around them know that it be public knowledge. Um, but let's say if it's a celebrate recovery where you've got some hard, the church is ministering to some hard luck cases and, and, and they're now in the church. Well, if you're going to go into that ministry to any significant extent, part of counting the cost is factoring in how much you're going to have to um, pay extra so that the deacons can have chaperones where necessary and so that, so that parents don't have to come to church worried. They know, they know that anybody there that it pre presents any kind of potential threat has, is accompanied all the time. Someone's with them all all the time. They they don't have to worry about that. So I can't. I can I can give. We can give in the church and must give, but only to the extent that we're not stealing from somebody else, in order to subsidize it. What God has offered authorized us to give. We we should give and must give.